Do you have a PDF of a drawing that you would like to bring into SOLIDWORKS? Perhaps you have legacy data or client information that you need to convert to 3D and all you have is a PDF. If you could just bring that information into SOLIDWORKS, it would save you a lot of time and that would be awesome. Let's take a look at a technique that I used to create a 3D model of my guitar in SOLIDWORKS. But rather than getting out my calipers and tape measure to reverse engineer it, I will start with the PDF, extract information from it as an image, and use Sketch Picture to hold that information for reference when creating the features of the body. I obtained a PDF of a 1962 vintage Fender Stratocaster. Notice that the drawing is complete with fully dimensioned standard and section views. To begin my design in SOLIDWORKS, I'm only interested in the front view. The key to this technique is the fact that the drawing is fully dimensioned, so I know what the actual sizes are based on the drawing dimensions. Sketch Picture uses image formats like JPEG, PNG, or BMP files. Since I only need a portion of the drawing, the front view, I will use the Windows Snipping tool to extract that information from the PDF and save it as a PNG file. I like to use PNG files because they lend themselves to transparency control very effectively. This functionality will allow you to see the important information from the image more clearly. Starting with a new part in SOLIDWORKS, create a sketch on the front plane that will hold the image only. This way you can control it independently of subsequent sketches. Place the PNG image with respect to the origin as appropriate. Use the scale tool within the sketch picture command to resize the picture based on known dimensions. Use the eyedropper to remove the white background. Adding a center line with a reference dimension will assist you in orienting subsequent sketches. The sketch containing the sketch picture becomes a reference for all other sketches. Once the reference sketch containing the sketch picture is in place, the sketches for the body outline and all the features representing the machining operations for the body are created by tracing over the original reference sketch in sketches of their own. Using the hide show icons for the reference sketch come in real handy to monitor your progress. Because the reference image is fully dimensioned, it is pretty easy to capture the design. Notice the way in which the feature manager tree is organized. The features are grouped into separate folders based on the type of manufacturing operation they are. Front and back pockets, mounting holes, internal wire runs, and body contours all represent machining that needs to be performed on the body and are based on information from the reference sketch containing the sketch picture. SOLIDWORKS allows you to organize and rename your features so you can easily recognize how your models are created. The neck of the guitar was also created using the same technique. Once the design is completed, SOLIDWORKS Visualize has powerful capabilities that allow you to create amazing visuals of your designs. SOLIDWORKS has many great features built right into the software that make designing in SOLIDWORKS streamlined, intuitive, and a lot of fun. In this video, we got a little creative and leveraged the features inside the sketch picture command to quickly and easily create a SOLIDWORKS model with information from a PDF. This simple technique will save you a lot of time when all you have to start with is a PDF drawing. Give this technique a try with one of your own projects, or click the link below to try this with the guitar body from this video. And if you haven't tried Visualize yet, you're really missing out on a powerful communication tool within your SOLIDWORKS professional arsenal.